Hi everyone, CJF Hotshot here, the UK's local Flash Jill, and today we're going to be talking about um, Flash costume design, specifically Wally West as the Flash, because as you know, uh, Wally West is a bit of a fashion extraordinaire, um, um, much like the much alike Kyle Rayner and how many suits he's had in just general. However, we're going to limit this him, this to Wally West as the Flash. Because, surprisingly, I don't like the Kid Flash suit. I'm just going to be honest. And we will talk about that in, like, really late in the video and about, about why. But, in the meantime, let's just start off plain and simple. Um, Wally West's Flash suit in the 1980s. Which is basically Barry Allen's suit. Yeah, I don't like this suit. Especially not for Wally. Um, I don't like that Wally's wearing the asymmetrical belt. I don't like the idea that this is, this isn't a Wally's take on the suit, you know? This is very much just Wally wearing Barry's suit as tribute until he finds his own identity. But it is important to his arc. Um, general design though, um, it's very old, as you can see. Um, it was designed in the 60s. Uh, for Barry Allen, and it kind of got reshuffled as a Kid Flash suit for Wally at one point. But overall, yeah, it's a thing, I guess. Just not my thing, you know? Or, but yeah, notable artist is, I'd say, Greg LaRoque, um, when he was on The Flash for the longest time with uh, William Mesner Lobes, um, as well as uh, Geis, who's drew, who drew this book at first. Um, but that was quite quick for this suit so let's talk about the 90s suit which is also um spoiler alert wally's best suit all we had to do is change the eyes to right to white uh sleeking out the boots darken the red a little and change the belt and suddenly this flash suit becomes much more iconic much more marketable a lot more like he actually fits in the justice league this is wally west's flash through and through it's just perfect you know like that's all i could say it's perfect like there's nothing that can top there's nothing that can top this there's some things that go equal to this but nothing can top it um then there was a bit of a downgrade i will admit the 2000 suit um from the jeff johns era um not my cup of tea but i understand why they did it they wanted the open eyes like you know show that wally was more friendly but at the same time i liked the 90s suit better with the white eyes um, but overall, um, I do think that there's art, great artists for, um, this suit. Uh, we're talking Scott Collins at his peak. We're talking Howard Porter. We're talking Freddie Williams II. Like, so many. Even, like, Ken Lashley on Fa Flash Fastest Man Alive, when Bart Allen was the Flash. Like, just so many good ones. You know? Um, then we've got the Dark Flash suit, uh, designed by, uh, Paul Pelletier. Uh, this is for Walter West, who's a Wally West variant from another world. He, it's pretty cool. It's, I've said this before. It looks like Mike Barron's Nexus. If you, if you, if you Google Mike Barron's ne Nexus, you'll understand what I mean. But it looks very much like that with like how dark it is, how much like silver there is, how the chin strap and the cowl form together. Like it's very Mike Barron's Nexus. You know, even the belt, I'd say. Like it's just like, it's very resemblant of Nexus. Um, not much to say about it. It's, like, supposed to be the Dark Variant, and it clearly does that. So, yeah. Uh, probably the most iconic of Wally's suits, in terms of, like, general recognisability, is the DCAU suit. Uh, with, this is the suit from the JLU animated series, um, which has recently been adapted into Justice League Infinity, uh, with covers drawn by Francis Manipal. And, oh my god, this suit is amazing. I will say that. Like, the, the single stroke lightning bolt's like genius. It means that they don't have to put as much effort into drawing it, you know? But at the same time, it looks iconic, you know? Like, it's just simple. It's just, it's basically the 90s suit again, but with a simplified lightning bolt, you know? And that, that's all we need, basically. Like, yes, this is, uh, peak design. Another suit that's peak design is the Blackest Night suit. Um, it's, uh, designed by Scott Collins and Ivan Rees in Blackest Night. Yes, uh, th they're definitely the ones who designed it. Uh, there is no idiot called Ethan who drew the suit. Um, it was designed by Scott Collins and Ivan Rees. Um, 
kind of taking the best of both worlds from the DCAU suit and um, probably the Dark Flash suit in terms of like the um, nose on the cowl and just kind of, yeah, it, it, it works, I think. You know, it's the suit Wally's wearing now as well. And Will Conrad is pulling it off. I will say that. Like, oh my God, it's really cool. Um, So we've been praising Flash suits all this time. I think it's safe to say that I quite like the 90s suit, uh, the DCAU suit, and the Blackest Night suit. However, there is one suit I don't like. Flash Rebirth 2016. What the fuck? Okay, so as you can see... It looks like a Kid Flash suit, and that was DC's, like, design mentality for it. Um, when Brett Booth designed the suit for Titans 2016, um, he drew a bunch of other suits. It's like concept design, but DC said you need to make it look more like Kid Flash. But in doing so, um, it kind of, A, regressed Wally as a character for, like, two years, putting him in, like, Heroes and Crisis and that, because DC didn't recognise him as the Flash. And it also just didn't work for Wally. Like, oh my god. Like, it's great when it's designed by Brett Booth, but give it to, like, anyone else, and the colours are all wrong. It doesn't look right, you know? And all you have to do is, like, make some changes. Like, if you change the open mask to a Blackest Night S cowl, or a Flash 90 suit cowl, I think it'd work. I think it could work. But, like, not as it is. I don't want it resembling Wally in, like, the fucking 60s, 70s, you know? I don't like Wally as Kid Flash. I like him as the Flash. Yeah. I mean, there's also, like, a variant with Wally on the Mobius chair. That looks pretty boss, but I think it only looked boss because, like, there was, like, godly aura around, around it. Um, I would not want a change back to this suit or the, um or the Mobius chair variant. You know, I'm I'm very happy with sticking with the Blackest Night suit uh, for as long as DC deems as possible, and then maybe switch back to the 90s suit or the DCAU suit. So yeah, th th this is my opinion that I hold very strongly. Um, Wally's had a very good history of co costume design, I will say. Um, it's just there's a blip in 2016, and people like this suit for some reason. I don't get it. But, you know, to each their own. Um, so, yeah, thanks for listening. I shall see you all next time. All right, peace.